Let's take a look at our view options here. Our view styles, view override and part painter. I'm just going to go out here and create a box. And I'll lock it to the coordinate system here. And I'll push it both ways because it's a good idea to build around the center axis. And I'll turn off my dimensions and I might put a round edge on here. Maybe 55. Okay, so I'd like to add a couple of features also. And so I'll put a, um, a lock to this face right here and just drop a circle here and push that through. And maybe I'll add one more feature on the top here. Just a rectangle by center and I'll push that up. Let's make it solid. So I'm going to hit the space bar to extrude that solid. If I'd like to go and change the color or be able to look through this, what I do is I go to View. Let's just go to Part Painter initially. And right now I'm going to change my color and let's go with uh, Cyan. I'll go Cyan and I have these options here to select any face or feature. So I'm going to pick Feature first. So if it's on Feature, it will identify these features. And I've got three features and I can look at that over here. The box, the round, the cutout, the protrusion. So it picks those up. And in this case, let's just say I like the cyan feature. And then I could go back and use green. And I'd like green on a certain face. And so I could turn these faces to green. So again, faces, features. We could look at changing the whole body or any. And that's how we change our color. Now, a lot of times I'd like to actually look through the model. And so to look through the model, I could pull down here and let's just go to say white clear. And I'll pick on, and this time I actually want the whole body. So if I click on the whole body, now I can sort of see into the part. And that's really helpful sometimes to be able to look into the part. I would like to go to the default and change this to high quality. And so it really improves the look of your model. That's what you do when you want to create a picture or an image. Now, if I'd like to go to view overrides and get rid of these shadows, I can just come in here and look at the floor, the reflection, and turn these on and off. If I turn off all the reflections, you'll see the reflection disappears. If I'd like to change the background color, I can go to view overrides, background, and say I would like this to be, instead of white, I would like yellow, and instead of gray, I would like light blue. This is how we change the background to give this a better look and feel. Now, if you'd like to save your image and paste it in a Word doc or a PowerPoint, you could come up here to the application button where it says save as, and we go to save as image. And then we could just go and call this whatever we like. And I, I usually prefer a defaults to bitmaps, but I usually use JPEG and just save that.